is unreal <laughs> but my god at the same time that is killer <sighs> what's up guys Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV <sighs> we're going barber soon hope you're all doing well hope you're all excited for this video if you are please drop it a like drop it a comment down below subscribe if you are new it's gonna be a good session, it's gonna be a good video. Before we get started, let me know what you would like to see next in the comment section down below. And I shall deliver. I give the people what they want. This is a people channel, we are man of the people here. Let me know in the comment section. Appreciate your support as always. Let's get on with it. <laughs> So today, I figured I would give you a little bit of an update as to where we are at when it comes to some shredding. Obviously, you guys know, well if you're new here, some of you might not know actually, I'm currently in a dieting phase, um, getting ready for the some shredding competition. Not the one in person where you fly to Texas and all this kind of stuff, I wish I could do that, but one, I'm not quite ready for a full on competition like that, and two, that's expensive as fuck. Maybe, possibly, probably, definitely one day we will be making that trip. However, today and uh, in the near future is not that day. Let me just set you down here. Shit. So, as of today, today is the 7th of July 2020, you guys are seeing this on the 8th of July, so it's Tuesday now, you guys are seeing it on the Wednesday, right? Summer Shredding now has what we've been looking for for this entire time. I've been saying we need a date, we need a final date as to when entries have to be in, because it's an online competition, everyone knew when the online, when the in-person Summer Shredding competition was going to be, but recently, Summer Shredding events, if you follow them on Instagram, they actually released a post with a bit more information about the competition on there and pretty much just saying who's still coming with us, you know, who's still on track. I am still on track, okay? We actually woke up this morning at 169 pounds. Now, as of right now, I'm actually supposed to be 167, I think, but I have a feeling I'm gonna wake up in the 167s this time tomorrow just because of how my body is looking, how I'm feeling and all this kind of stuff. I can generally speak and tell that I've been doing this for a, a long enough period of time where I kind of know my body when it's gonna drop. In particular, when hunger rises, that's when you kind of expect to drop in the near future, you know? And I feel like that's coming. So, from today, that gives us 13 weeks and a few days to Pretty much. Oh, that doesn't work. Hang on. Put you in there. Stand you up there. Put a spare in it. Yeah, okay, cool. That gives us 13 weeks and a few days to basically bring the best package that I have ever brought. 
That, arguably, is already now, right? In my opinion, as of this moment, right now, I mean, it's only gonna get better, I feel like I am in the best position I've ever been so far in terms of muscle mass, in terms of body composition, all this kind of stuff. I'm just managing to have a bit more of a balance a lot better than I used to, right? You guys know the approach that I take when it comes to dieting. I take it very slow, take it very steady, enjoy a few pizzas along the way, a few KFCs and all that. So, as of right now, I feel like, hang on. As of right now, I am definitely in the best position that I've ever been when it comes to just dieting down and stuff. And we still have a way to go. We still have, let's say we're 169 pounds right now. We still have another 10 pounds to bring off, okay? It's that simple. We have another 10 pounds, which is a lot of body fat if we take our time. We've got like 13, we've got nearly 14 weeks to do that. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. I am excited to see what I can personally bring. This is going to be a new challenge for me. I've never intentionally gone down to this low body fat before. I don't think I've ever been to this low body fat before. I don't know how much weight that, that would lose me in terms of percentage. We'll just have to see. I don't know how my body is going to react to this, and that is what's exciting. That is what I love to do. I love to experiment on myself. Right now, at the time of filming this, I'm actually filming a video titled Only Eating Ready Meals for One Week. I am very, very excited to see how that impacts me personally and how that responds with my training and everything else, my sleep, all this kind of stuff. I started taking 5-HTP. Stay tuned for all of these cool things, all of these interesting things that I'm gonna document on here for you guys in the lead up to summer shredding. And then not so long after that, you know what it is. It's body power. Go for a mid workout pick me up courtesy of the peeps at Excite. That was clean, don't even deny it. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed that, which you all did. I know mean, you've already liked the video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> because, contrary to popular belief, I actually don't take pre workout every single time. It might seem it because I show you it a hell of a lot, but every single session, nah nah. Okay, so. Mid-session, kind of little pick-me-up, and we'll have pre-workout tomorrow, probably. It might seem like I take it every day. I know, I, I want you to know that you shouldn't rely on it, right? So, an energy drink or a coffee or whatever, sometimes it should be enough. You shouldn't have to take it every single time. I really enjoy the process of taking it. I like mixing it up. I like shaking it and <laughs> spilling it. I just enjoy the process. It's kind of a routine for me, but I don't do it every single time. Not every time. Intention, very intentionally not every single time. It just seems like I do. This does the job. how we are looking technically at 169 right I mean, if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen this post that I did the other day saying I went from one day going 173 pounds in the morning to 171 at night then the following morning I was 169.2 or something like that from then we've gone even further down weight loss is never linear weight loss is never a straight line going down you'll be going like this but long story short as long as you are going like this you may go up and down, up and down, up and down, but you, as long as you in the grand scheme of things are going down, and the same thing with YouTube, views will go up and down, but as long as long term, you're going up and up and up, so you'll go up, you'll have a peak. Sorry, I'm really out of breath, this is a terrible idea. Whew. 
you'll have a peak, right? But then you'll come back down, okay? But then the next peak should be, not always, it might, it might be higher, it might be lower, right? But then generally speaking, across time, as long as you are weaving up like this, you're okay. In the same way with dieting, as long as you are weaving down like this, all's good, right? So that is how we are looking technically at 169, but I'm pretty sure as of tomorrow, I'm gonna to be in the like 167s. I can just feel it. I'll let you know on Instagram and all this kind of stuff as of when that actually happens, but it's gonna happen very, very soon. And then from there, we will continue with the sheet. Here we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the plan from the get-go, and I'm happy to say that we can stick to this plan. Nothing needs to change, purely because the summer shredding dates have been announced. And the final day for entries is actually the 11th of October. So if I am ready by the 10th at 159 pounds, I can film and hand in my entry on that day. And jobs are good. So here we are right now. Let me get like a pen or something. Woo, woo, ah. Everyone used to do that at school. I actually used to be quite good at it. Better with a pen, he says whilst dropping it. It was always better with a pen that had some weight to it, but actually kind of flinging it around in your hand and stuff. Like, stuff like that I learned to do as a kid. I learned to do like a Rubik's Cube and spin a, like a ball on my finger and just, just weird like stuff like that. I, I learned as a kid, like I had my, my reasons for it. I was injured, uh, long, it doesn't matter. Story for another time. Summer shredding, focus, Liam, focus. So here we are at the 6th of July here, okay? So we've gone through this kind of new process since getting back on track with the diet, since being ill and since having that time off and all this kind of stuff. We then have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 weeks. And then to this bottom one, it's just a few days. So that is actually the 5th to the 10th. Um, so a few days, obviously not an entire week, but the bottom line, is when the date is kind of due, when I'll hand my, my entry in. As of right now, as of yesterday, in fact, we were supposed to be 167, so the lowest is actually 168.9 like or 0.8 or something like that. So we're really not that far off. I'm really not worried about it. I'm gonna probably wake up at 167 tomorrow, 167 point something, probably not below 167, let's be realistic. But anyway, we have the following week then to lose another pound. And then the plan from there is half a pound per week to get down to 159. So as long as we kind of get on track over the next few days we shall be good half a pound every single week until the week of the 20 no the 5th of October the 10th at the bottom here that's actually a Saturday so the deadline officially for the competition is a Sunday which just kind of makes sense like it's an online competition I'm pretty sure that the in-person competition will be on that Saturday on the 10th when I'm filming my online entry um, not that that's important I'm just cool bit of information you know in terms of my macros and stuff in that time as well um they are going to be changing because like, they're just going to have to I i'm going to reach a kind of stumbling point i'm um, kind of in the process of experimenting with that a little bit now uh, we shall see i'll keep you updated on that in future videos and also let me know if you would like me to do a full kind of macro nutrient breakdown why i do what i do etc etc um it's not a, exactly rocket science i just kind of a bit of trial and error, you know, it's not the end of the world if I don't hit that weight, like I'm a way off that 167, but I'm, I'm really not worried about it. We're not trying to be Mr. Olympia here, guys. We're just trying to lose a bit of weight and feel good, look a bit better, you know? Having said that though, I am very excited to bring the best package that you guys have ever seen, the best package that I've ever seen. The biggest challenge to myself ever is gonna be this, is gonna be getting, you know, getting this lean. So with the help of little things like this, little replacements, little protein shakes up here like that, you know, we're gonna be good and I'm excited people. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do me a massive favor, drop it a like, drop it a comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Let me know in the comment section, as I said earlier in the vid, what you want to see me make next. I have a few ideas in full swing as of right now, but they are gonna take some time, people. They're gonna take some time to edit. They're gonna take some time to kind of think through and actually time to get the content because some of them are spanning over like a week. So just, Stick with me. I already told you what that was. I was talking about it like it was a freaking secret. But thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you, especially if you are still watching this video at this point in time and you are not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button because if you stuck around for like 15 minutes, I must be doing something right, you know? You might have enjoyed it a little bit. Stick around, watch a few more, you know? You might, you might not regret it. I hope you won't regret it. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Together we will grow and I will see you beautiful people.